Today, Mayor Brandon Johnson called the body camera video deeply disturbing. It weighs heavily on me that this event took place just blocks away from my own community. And it is not lost on me that both Dexter Reed and this officer could have been my students. The mayor taught at Westinghouse College Prep, the same high school Dexter Reed graduated from. Our Sabrina Franza continues our coverage now. Sabrina, you spoke to Reed's family today. We did, and that was just after saying their final goodbyes to Dexter Reed on Friday. They were finally able to watch that video you just saw yesterday showing his death. They're now calling for police reform and for accountability. I just miss my son. I'm hurt. I'm sick. I feel like I've been shot. Dexter Reed's mother, after listening to 96 shots fired, fired in 41 seconds, killing her son. My insides is burning up. Why they did that to my son? Dexter Reed was 26 years old. He played basketball at Westinghouse College Prep before later playing for Morton College. His dream was to one day be a broadcaster. His mom said he had just bought the car he was driving in when police pulled him over. He had just bought his new car three days before that, and he was just riding around in his car. He said, Mom, I'm going for a ride. Now his family is calling for the city to disband their tactical units working on the city's south and west sides. Why were tactical officers jumping out of an unmarked police car with their guns drawn for a simple traffic violation of not wearing your seatbelt? They want the Chicago Police Department to strip the five officers involved of their jobs. And they say they feel a criminal indictment against some of the officers is also warranted. It must stop. It ain't the first person it happened to. And if it don't be justice, if they not held accountable, it won't be the last person. Dexter Reed's family did not comment on how a Chicago police officer was also shot and wounded that day. They maintain that Reed was unarmed when he got out of the car as police shot him. In the newsroom, Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News. Sabrina, thank you.